Garland, how's it going? You seem awfully tense. And to be completely honest, my love, I think we might be needing some type of miracle because these numbers don't look good. I was hoping that business would pick up, but we just suffered so many losses and I'm not really sure where it will recover from. After spending that time in the hospital, there was no other way but to use some of the restaurant funds to pay the hospital bills. And looking back at it, I should have never even touched the money. That was an emergency. There was no other way to do it. I was not going to lose you just to make the restaurant look good. Don't get me wrong. I love this place, but I love you more. There's got to be something we can do. Maybe we can try to start promoting the business more on social media. A lot of kids at school seem to be talking about this Tic Tac or whatever it's called. Perhaps we can look into it. Honey, I don't know. You know how I am when it comes to anything digital. Maybe we can ask some of the younger wait staff to help us out for a little extra cash. Or maybe do some other kind of promo. Print some flyers with coupons for discounts. I've just been reading more and more letters from the bank. I think they've finally had enough of waiting on us. I know that we owe them quite a bit of money. I just didn't realize so much has added up throughout the months. I think we might need to let go of some of our wonderful cooks and waiters. I'm so sorry, love. Is there anything you can think of that I can help you with? No, honey, I appreciate that. But this is something I don't think any of us can fix. Well, if you change your mind, please let me know. I just wish there was something else we could do or anything that I could come up with to make sure the bank gives us a little bit more time to catch up. Realistically, how long do we have to be able to sort it out according to the bank? I'm not really sure, but I did receive a notice from the bank that a representative would be paying us a visit to discuss it. Good afternoon. I'm Jane Parker from Capital Two Bank. Are you the Simmons? Hi. Uh, I'm uh, Max's wife, Jocelyn. Nice to meet you, Jocelyn. Hi, I'm Max. Hi, Max. Nice to meet you. Go ahead and have a seat. Thank you. It's a beautiful restaurant you have, Max. Thank you, Miss Parker. My wife and I try to do our best to take care of it. Yeah, I mean, you can definitely tell there's been a lot of love put into this place. I remember just a couple years ago when this was just a standing empty plot. Thank you. Luckily, I had a wonderful partner who gave me a lot of tips for the interior. <laughs> That's why, with a heavy heart, I've come to deliver some bad news. I'm sure you're aware of the official letters and overdue payment notices that the bank has been sending out, right? Yes, I am aware. We're actually going over the financial statements and thinking of solutions. That's wonderful. However, the bank has insisted that I inform you that there is an impending process to confiscate the restaurant due to those unpaid debts. They can't just take the restaurant away. There, there must be something that we can do to avoid confiscation, right? My wife was so ill and she even ended up in the hospital. I'm, I'm really sorry to hear that you got sick, Ms. Simmons, but unfortunately, your contract is definitive and final. Unless the debts are paid, we'll have to take the restaurant from you both. I'm really, really sorry. Please, we just need some more time. If you can somehow find the funds in time, then you'll have all the time in the world. I'm sorry, but rules are rules. I know this is quite the shock, but please understand from the bank's perspective, we can't allow this to continue. Here's my card. Phone number's on the back. Please call me in the next three to five business days with your decision so I can set up a meeting to go over all the necessary documents. Thank you. At least we have a few more days to come up with a solution. I suppose, I just don't know how we're gonna come up with that money. Hi, welcome. Please take a seat anywhere you'd like. Oh my goodness, Colt! <laughs> hey, Mrs. S. Oh, long time no see. Such a nice surprise. Take a seat. Thank you. Sit. Before I forget, this is for you. Okay. Um, thank you. That was so nice um, of you. Feels like ages uh, since you've been in my class. Um, let me introduce you. Um, this is my wife. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Simmons. Honey, this is Colt, one of my former students. He's um, the one who started the tech company I was telling you about. Nice to meet you, Colt. I remember Jocelyn mentioning it. Sounds really impressive. Would you like anything to drink? Oh, no, I'm okay for now. <laughs> thank you. 
So, what brings you here, Colt? Um, it's great to see you. Well, I remember you telling me the stories about the restaurant and how wonderful it is, so I wanted to come and check it out for myself. And I'm sorry if I came before you guys opened, though. Is it usually this quiet? It didn't used to be this way. Before the pandemic and those lockdowns, this used to be a place with a line outside waiting to come in and try our dishes, but due to unfortunate events and after reopening, businesses seemed like it really died down. Oh, man. I'm really sorry to hear that. It's okay. Uh, we just have to find a way to somehow keep our heads up or else this place might not be here for much longer. But anyways, how does a young man like you end up in tech? Well, a uh, big part of my success was possible because of Mrs. S. <laughs> Due to her kindness and guidance throughout my time at school, it, was, it really motivated me to become the best version of myself. And from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you for everything. Your teachings have changed my life. I'm really thankful. I'm sure that regardless of what you decided to do, you would have thrived. Uh, I'm just glad that I was able to be a part of your success and it makes me really proud to see you owning your own company and living your full potential. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Tess. I do have to be completely honest with you though. A friend of mine that works for Capital Two told me that there was some trouble with the restaurant. And um, long story short, I flew in for London to come visit my hometown and I decided to visit my old friend Nate who works down at the bank. And we got to chatting and I told him about coming to see our former teacher, Mrs. Simmons. He wasn't supposed to, but um, he told me he had seen the name of your wife's restaurant in one of the files for debt collection, which is why I brought this. Dear Mrs. S, um, there are not enough words to describe how thankful I am for having your kindness and patience with me during this time at school. I really do go through times where I wanted to give up, but you helped me through it. I feel there is nothing in the world that I can do to repay you, but I, I hope this can be a start. How? This is exactly what we needed to cover everything at the bank. We can't accept this, Colt. This is too big of a favor. No, 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 please. Without you, I wouldn't have gotten to where I am today. And additionally to that, I would like to ask you, Mrs. Simmons, if you'd be interested in a remote position. You know, something easy that you would be able to do here for the restaurant. So that when it quiets down, you still have funds coming in. I, I don't know what to say. Well, please consider it. Let me at least invite you both to my office to show you what I do in my day-to-day -day life. Also, so you can see if the position is something that you are interested in. You know, I'm gonna start booking two first-class seats on a flight to London right now. How would you two like to visit Europe? <laughs> London, we've never even thought about going somewhere for the weekend, let alone a trip to Europe. <laughs> we can't possibly accept this, Cole. This is too much. Nonsense, it's the least I can do. Mrs. Simmons was such a pivotal part of my life and I just want to be able to help you guys. Colt, I have no words. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Genuinely, this means so much to us. We can't thank you enough, Colt. You're truly saving the day, not just for this restaurant, but everything that Jocelyn and I have built up until this point. I know how frustrating it can all be to have your circumstances limit your potential. When I was in high school, it was because of Mrs. Simmons that not only did she believe in me, but helped me that I was able to overcome my situation and be the man that I always knew was me. And I just feel blessed to be able to do the same for people that I care so deeply about. I always say kindness is the glue that holds the community together. When we show kindness to people, it creates a positive atmosphere and supporting local businesses is an extension of that kindness. It's a way of saying, I care about you and I want you to succeed. So, thank you, Colt, for caring about us. Of course, Mrs. Simmons. You built a foundation for not only my character, but also my business. I would be honored to continue having your wisdom support our business. And I would be honored to be a part of it. As for this restaurant, I truly want to see it flourish. So please let me know if there's anything more I can do to help you return it to its former glory. 
You have done way more than enough for us in this restaurant. I really appreciate everything you've done for us. It's been a long time since I've been this excited about life and I can't wait to tackle all the challenges this new chapter will bring. Well, I'm excited for both of you. <laughs> for all of us. <laughs>